Hi all, welcome to Rax Infotech. Uh, in this video, I'm going to share a couple of uh, Vara errors as part of our Oracle database uh, management. On day to day, we used to see some of the couple of uh, Vara errors. So it is better to know uh, what what is mean by the error uh, code. According to that, we can able to get some uh, fixes also. Another point is uh, in couple of interviews, a uh, few of them may ask you some of the Vara error. Uh, codes if you are unable to uh, what i can say recall the number but you can say this is an error message if this kind of error message we can able to fix by using this kind of action plan okay so all oracle database related or errors um, these issues may occur on our databases okay these errors are typically numeric and uh, being with vara underscore or vara ifa number followed by the number brief description okay we'll explain them uh, around like another 10 10 vara errors i'm going to explain so coming to the direct to the point number one error vara error vara iphone 01033 what is mean by this vara kill initialization or shutdown in progress if some we you have initiated the shutdown operation and somebody trying to access the database okay uh, if possible you can see it shut or I can do shut down the same instance. Let me take a duplicate, duplicate tab, and try to connect sysdba. What is that? Sysdba. Okay. And then if you are trying to access something, some query error, uh, whatever it is, we can see that. Or else I'll show you that error message also. Shut down. name comma open underscore mode from v dollar database when i have initiated this shutdown let me reconnect connected we'll see it see these kind of for errors not logged on 1012 this is one one kind of for error by that time with this instance also i mean already in instance shutdown mode okay this is one type of error. If same thing, uh, it may take in real time, we can able to see it uh, parallelly where shutdown immediate is happen and we are trying to connect it. We can able to see these kind of. So this is one kind of error, 1012. When uh, database is in shutdown, we are trying to access in not logged on this kind of scenarios. Okay. Okay. Even if you want to check the status when you are initiating the error message, even after you shut it down, that is different code. While it is start up, and we'll try to check this how uh, we can able to get that code. Let it start up, and then we'll see it. Okay, now. We need to disconnect from the session and reconnect from this session. Okay. Now shut down. Okay. Let it be immediately. Let me try on this. Let it be. Those who are connected already, that user may not see this. Okay. But they will get it after it is completely going down. Okay. That is different story. Okay. It is about to go. Okay, even if you want to see it, we can see it. this uh, error messages when you are trying to access 1033. Another error is, this I'll add it another way, 1012. This one, 10133, that is the 12. So when the database instance is shut down, new connections may not be able to see it. So if the database is down and the startup, If you are seeing this kind of errors are one zero, this one, I'll make it another one. One zero, one, two, this one. If you are seeing this kind of aura errors, you can restart your uh, this thing database. That's it. Okay, we can see another one. If the database is restricted or recovery mode, 
we need to make it mount. How we are going to make it our database from mount stage to open, alter database open. Okay, another Vara error. That is one type of Vara errors. We can see it. Another Vara errors. Vara 12541. It is related to, to your listener is not running. Okay. Another TNS related issue is there. We can check that. Another error, each error, we can able to see it one error code or one error numeric number. Okay. If the listener is not up and running, we can check by using LSNR or LSNR CTL status, give the listener name, RL the status it will give you. If it is down, you can use LSNR CTL start. Another TNS related error, 12154, would not resolve the connect identifier specified. It is It means the TN, inside of your TNS names, the service name may not uh, put properly or we did not add it. The, if it is related to PDB, we have not added the service name properly in the TNS names .vara file. So what we need to do, we need to check TNS ping, that uh, alias name or the service name, if it is pinging, if not, we need to add that service name in the TNS name .vara file. Where this uh, TNS names .vara file will locate, Oracle home admin, network admin location. Okay, TNS ping service name, if it is, after you added that file, and again, you can try to do it, TNS ping, the service name or alias name, it is going to connect to that service name. That is one type of error. Another one is, it's very famous. Most of them, those who are preparing for interviews, they might aware of this uh, snapshot to world error. Uh, but nowadays, what uh, interviewers are asking, how we are going to fix these kind of issues, okay? This occurs when your undo data is overwritten before a query accessing it. This they are expecting the answer. That is one thing. And what we are trying to answer, most of them will try to answer. We are going to increase the undo table space. That is good. No, that is not a problem. But this is the answer for this snapshot to older. Suppose you have undo table space size, undo table space size 1 GB. Okay. Whatever the undo data old information is coming to this and uh, next 1.1 MB, another 10 MB is trying to return to undo information is there. That retention already there for seven days or 900 minutes by default. If it is below this 900 minutes and uh, we, we have more undo generated at that time, we can get this snapshot to older. It is trying to, it won't go ahead and then overwrite it until unless this, uh, this thing retention time is met within retention time your 1gb is occupied you need more space at that time you will get this snapshot to old error okay so that you can increase the that is solution is increasing the undo table space but what exactly causing this error we need to explain it okay this is a query to check your undo related things give a single code percentile undo and close the single code. And also how to uh, give uh, this added data file to and extra data file to or if you want to resize your undo, we can do this is a resize command. If you want to add alter table space, table space name, add data file, alter table space, undo, add data file, add one more data file, come on. One more data file in this path. We are already having undo 01. You can add undo 02. Size, you can give another 2G. That's it. If you want to resize it from 1GB to 2GB, you can use resize command. If you want to add a new data file to this undo table space, this already one data file with 01, give the another name. New name we have to give. Sequence is 02. In that way, we are going to troubleshoot this snapshot to old error one. Okay, next. Vara 1980-9809 exits maximum SGRP. This is related to your uh, memory. This occurs when the memory limits for SG and PGA exceeds. So we need to increase the memory. Add memory parameters. Check the memory parameter. If you want to add, you can use this uh, scope equal to both option when you are a parameter file using SP file. If it is in the P file, you have to update these values into your parameter file and you need you need to take a bounce of the DB to uh, update this latest value, okay? And another famous one, Vara 600. 
internal code error. It is software level, Oracle software level issues. I mean, from as a DBA, we cannot go ahead and then troubleshoot on software level, RDBMA software level. So what we need to do, we need to raise an SR with Oracle support and uh, share that error messages. They're going to uh, share some kind of fixes, okay? So where we can find that uh, ORA 600, whatever it is, all the maximum ORA related errors, we can go ahead and see your alert log file. Orange, when you are trying to do some kind of activities, you can see it like I showed you, right? When you're trying to access something, we may see these kind of ones, okay? ORA error is, ORA 600 error is, this is a critical error related to internal issues within Oracle software level. So you can raise an SR with Oracle support. If you can see it, these kind of array, errors in your alert log. Very, very important. Another one. It is also another famous one, 3113. Famous means repeatedly most of them are facing. It means it is not a famous. Famous means those who are uh, aware, most of the people can able to, if you can say, or if you can give a name of the persons, if somebody, yeah, I know that guy. So that is a famous. Likewise, in Oracle site, our Vara errors, some of the errors most repeatedly we used to get it. That's where we call it as a famous. End of file communication channel. Okay, this error usually happens due to the network or server related issues. Okay, we need to check our net uh, listener is listening or the server is pinging properly or not. Net step, uh, net step, iPhone, my pipe grab, uh, the port is listening or not. All uh, these things will happen in network level. So what we need to do, uh, we'll try to restart our database if it is uh, still, we are able to see this kind of errors. If not, we can take a complete server bounce during the network related issues, okay? If you want to restart your database instances, we can do it in the similar way. Okay, another one is this, another issue, account is locked. We can able to see user management related. This error occurs when your user account is due to failed login attempts. It may be the password or it, wrong password they are trying to give multiple times. Okay, more than three times if the user is trying to give a uh, wrong password, the account is going to lock. At that time, they can able to see it. 28300 error. So what in that scenario, you can check the user status by using this query. And then if the user account status is locked, you can use alter user username identify, I mean, uh, sorry, alter user username account unlock. If you want to reset the password, alter user username, identify the password, put the new password. If the user is forgotten the new password in that time, alter user racks username IDN identity -E by new password account unlock. So because the user doesn't know the password, uh, he may for he or she may not uh, able to recall it. That's where the user account, they given the wrong password that lost. So again, if you're going to unlock it right now, they will try another three times the wrong password. Again, it is going to lock. Better situation, reset the password and unlock the account, share the new password with them, try with this new password. Then they can able to connect. So without uh, recreating multiple tickets. Yeah, here it is. Okay, another one, uh, Vara 040031, unable to allocate shared memory. This is also memory uh, related one uh, as part of your SGA uh, related. This occurs when Oracle is unable to allocate memory from its shared pool. Okay, if you are not selected automatic memory management option. Okay, if it is an automatic memory option, we can avoid these kind of errors. Solution increase the shared pool size. That is one option. If you are using automatic shared memory, you know it. You we may not get, we may not see this kind of issues. See if it is not automatic memory management, we may see these kind of issues. At that time, increase your shared pool size. Okay, that's it. How we are going to do it? Alter system set shared pool size. In if it is hundred MB, you can increase to two hundred. If it is a three hundred MB, increase to five hundred MB. Scope equal to both. Okay, depends upon your uh, SGA how much size of your SA is having. In that, you're going to dedicatedly assign this much of memory to this part. Uh, or else, sometime instead of doing this uh, size increasing, try to flush it, uh, whatever the whole data is there. Optional, but it is not recommended. If you don't have an option to increase the memory, so you try to do it alter system flush shared pool, you will get some relief on this uh, memory level. 
okay then uh, we can avoid uh, or fix these kind of issues that is temporary one temporarily we can fix if you are increasing it's a permanent kind of one it is not at all a permanent. I mean even we, at that moment if again it is going to occupy more again we may get it so that's where uh, Oracle has been introduced to automatic memory management to avoid these kind of memory leakage related memory utilization related issues okay and uh, the last question uh, or error not the question you can say or error is this one unable to extend table space table or index okay these are this kind of or errors occurs when a table space does not have enough space to accommodate new data okay we need to add a data i mean data file to the table space that's it you can check the how many data files you are having and then you can add alter data base data file new data file we are going to resizing the list if you want to resize you have to use the database or if you want to add a new data file to that previously also different errors okay undo we will get one error snapshot two old error if it is a data file you will get this kind of errors undo user system sysarts okay those tables any issues you can you will get this kind of one especially undo you can get that different error Okay, that's all about uh, these variables, guys. It's a part one. Uh, in I'm going to make it another two parts. Okay, this is a part one. So next part, I'm going to share a couple of errors. Um, that's most of them may aware of it, but if you're going to recall uh, once, if you can review or revision one time, revision purpose, it is going to, before going to interview, go with this video so that you, you can able to answer at least out of five, five questions. If they will ask, you can answer two to three questions. They may ask all five, five out of five from here. It's very good for you guys. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a good day.